Hello, my name is David Silverman, and you're watching Ed Magic TV. It is magic. It's simple to see it's Ed Magic TV, so the world can believe it's Ed Magic TV. And now here we are, they're watching us. Yes, exactly. Fantastic. So you're getting an award tonight, are you? I am not. I am presenting uh, one of the Windsor McKay Awards to my dear friend and colleague, Eric Goldberg. Mm -hmm. And I'm very flattered to be asked. Eric asked me to do, present it, and I couldn't be happier. So... I think, uh, I think I've known Eric longer than anyone else here tonight has. We were talking earlier, a number of people, about animation and how, you know, it's something that's here to stay. But uh, for the independent film producers, it's kind of tough because it's a cost item that really raises the cost of filmmaking. And right now, things are tough for a lot of independent producers. Your thoughts? I think you can do um, animation... Uh, cheaper as an independent filmmaker you could have your sights down lower but you can do an animated feature for less money I mean Bill Plimpton has been very successful at that literally doing it nearly by himself because he's like the whole industry he has a uh, several several assistants but he's the main engine now that's <laughs> that's very bare bones but he does produce them but you can do something maybe not uh, on the low end that Bill does but, you know, not quite on the high end that, say, uh, Pixar or DreamWorks does. Although, um, you know, uh, Despicable Me was made for a relatively smaller budget uh, and did extremely well. Now, you could probably do one smaller than that. Again, you may not get the same market, but if you're able to do an animated film on a smaller budget, you can do a more inventive idea because you're not going to anticipate a giant return, you know, to cover a giant cost. So, I don't know. I think, I think there's more hope out there than, than people might think. What do you prefer, film or television? Film or television? Uh, you mean for me for, to do? I prefer uh, the job that I have in front of me. <laughs> in other words, it's a business and you attack it from that point of view. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, If I have a, if I have a TV uh, uh, position, I'm happy to do that. If I have a film position, I'd be happy to do that. I'm moving more into film, but uh, all is good. So, leaving, where is the future going as you see it be between television, internet, and film? Oh, I think there's going to be a lot more crossing over. Well, you can see, like, in television, you have people like... That's happened, been happening a long time. Like, uh, people like, say, Scorsese working on uh, uh, HBO and so forth. But that's happened back and forth. I would suspect that many people we see right now might be working on, uh, uh, like, uh, perhaps, uh, I don't know, uh, folks that have done... Uh, a social network might be working on things on the TV like so you never know but um, but uh, the internet still a question mark until you get a real revenue stream from that it's hard to say I, I couldn't I couldn't tell you thank you for talking with me thank you very much all right